HollyScoop.com exclusive. It was an attempt for us to one up the classic stagecoach train robbery sequences that we're all too familiar with. We wanted to do a, our Fast and Furious version of that without horses, <laughs> but a whole lot of horsepower. Not only were Dwayne and I talking about doing something together for years, not only um, is it obvious that there's a fantastical element to taking whatever action heroes you got on the table in your era, and potentially the two biggest ones, and the two guys that represent formidability and put them together. That's, that's fun for any audience member. That's just, that's fun for, that's fun for cinema. That's a, that's a big, the fact that there's that fight scene between Dom and Hobbs is an event in cinema, let alone just the Fast and Furious. That's just too juicy and too much fun. I think Tyrese and Ludacris both brought a fresh comedic timing to this film. Again, we were dealing with very heavy issues in the last movie. Uh, we wanted to embrace a, a more lighthearted banter throughout this film. And both Roman and Tej bring that. They bring some lightheartedness and they allow the audience to have fun in a way. That uh, I, 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 not only Roman and Tej, I think all of them. I think some of the funniest guys in this movie are Tego and Don Omar. It's always fun to see Dom and Brian working together. It just is. It's fun to see them get into their Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid zone. Because uh, it's the only thing in modern film that feels anything like that. Where you feel like, these are, like this is a complex situation, but they're brothers, but they have issues. The brothers. The thing that I liked, I guess, was that this is the first Fast and Furious that both Paul and I are driving the same car, the Dodge Charger. And more importantly, the first car that I've ever driven in Fast and Furious that's available to the public. No other car I've ever driven has been available to the public except this one. So it'd be interesting to see what happens.